What's good YouTube family? Welcome back. If it's your first time, I'm Devin on deck and today we are back with another skincare video. And if you've been subscribed here for a while, you know that I've been using Geology for over two years now before they ever sponsored me. But just like everything, there's always room for improvement. So in this video, we're going to focus on all the things I use besides Geology that also helps out my skincare regimen and hopefully it'll help you out too. list for my skincare arsenal is tea tree oil. Not only does it have antiseptic properties, but it also helps you heal faster and fights acne. And for my guys with curly or coarse hair texture that deal with ingrown hairs like I do, it's also a great preventative measure to put on as aftershave or like I do every other night before I go to bed. The second thing I want to show y'all is my physical exfoliator. I like to use this once a week just to get rid of that dead skin on my face. And I don't know about you, but I get some of those tiny white heads on my nose so doing this once a week definitely knocks those down and makes my face feel really smooth number three on this list is sunblock now if you use geology like i do you know they have 10 spf in the daily moisturizer already but to hit that recommended 30 spf you need an external sunscreen so the sunblock i've been trying out for the last three months is this one it was actually recommended to me by a tiktoker and it's been decent but i still kind of get that purplish hue that kind of ashy look you get sometimes if you do have brown or dark skin, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And no matter how much time I would take to rub it in, I will always have to get a damp cloth and kind of pat my face so I wouldn't have that weird finish. But that kind of defeats the purpose because you want it to protect your skin from the sun. But good thing, my people over at Geology finally listened to me and you too and came out with a sun block. Well, it's actually more than a sun block if you think about it. So it's an SPF 30, first of all. It's lightweight. It has a matte finish when you put it on and the reason why I say it's not just sunblock and leans more towards skincare is because it has 1% niacinamide and hyaluronic acid which is a natural chemical that your body already produces to help you retain moisture in your skin so you're harnessing that power for your face plus blocking the sun at the same time and honestly Y'all should give yourselves a round of applause because without you, this product wouldn't exist. I'm not sure if you know, but Geology is a smaller company and they take time to read all your comments and all my videos, other creators' videos, and the biggest piece of feedback is, we want a better SPF, and they did it. Neutrogena ain't doing that for you or me, but hey, that's just me. I just like when companies listen to me as a customer. But anyway, if you wanna check out this sunscreen, the new SPF 30 by Geology, or the entire regimen, which I've already told you about in numerous videos, I have a link in my description that will already apply a 20% off coupon for you. Just click the link, it'll take you right there. And yeah, let me know what you think when you try it. Another secret weapon of mine is my evening serum by The Ordinary. It's 10% niacinamide and 1% zinc. And as you know, niacinamide is vitamin B3, as I mentioned earlier, and it really helps break down a lot of that dead skin, reduce blemishes, acne scars and stuff. This is gonna help get rid of those just a little bit faster. And I kind of weave it in my normal evening routine. So I wash my face as usual, using Geology, of course. Then I use my under eye cream, which has helped me tremendously with my dark under eyes. And then I put the serum on. It's a nice, even, thin coat on my face. And I lock it in with my usual evening moisturizer. And last but not least on this list to stimulate hair growth, especially in my beard area where I know I'm a little bit lighter, is peppermint oil. And it has a lot of benefits, but the main one why it works for hair stimulation and hair growth, because the menthol in it, on top of feeling super refreshing, also improves blood flow. And the reason why hair might be growing weaker in some areas on your face or on your head is because of the starved blood flow to hair follicles. So increasing that circulation, stimulating that blood flow can help grow new hairs or prevent hair loss in the first place. And I apply this every night to my beard, well, nights that I remember to or I'm not being too lazy, but I should be applying this every night to my beard and I use it in tandem with my derma roll. I just dab the peppermint essential oil in each of the areas and with medium to light pressure, I just use the derma roller over those exact areas for about 30 seconds each. So there you have it. That is everything that I use in my skincare routine besides geology. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments 
or if you have any suggestions for me, I'm all ears. You know, this is a community. I'm here to listen as well. I'm always learning and adding to my knowledge. So anything you want to tell me, please let me know in the comments as well. And I appreciate your time for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.